My name is Doug Steffen. I have grown up in Framingham, worked on three of the dairy farms as a kid, grown up to have uh, an established national radio brand, but my heart has always been here in Framingham and it's always been wrapped around these farms, namely Eastley, which is what you're seeing today. The experience that you're having seeing what is hard to believe in Framingham, Massachusetts. When you think about Framingham, most people I tell them I'm from Framingham, oh, Shopper's World, or oh, that's where Stables is headquartered, or that's where the Bose Corporation is. All those things are true, but it's also where this farm, the last piece of really big open land in an area that is so hard to find, never mind in Framingham, any place. So what you're looking at, what you're going to experience, what you're going to sense as you go through this tour over the next few minutes is a, a, a very personal side of something that means a great deal to lots and lots of people in this town, in this area, in this state, and that's because it is as unique as it is. Come on, Topaz, come on, let's go. Milking time, let's go. As you see on this plaque, this farm was built by the WPA. The farm stayed in the, fam the same family for decades. And it has meant, in fact, uh, without this farm, there wouldn't be water in uh, northwest, many parts of northwest Framingham. Uh, there wouldn't be sewerage. This farm has been a basis for a lot of things. It has helped immeasurably, but that isn't even really the story. The story is looking out over the land looking at the animals that are here, looking at the faces of the people who are enjoying what there is here, and understanding that there sort of isn't much of a wall left protecting this farm from the vagaries of what everything else in Framingham has ended up being, and that's either stores, developments, and it isn't just Framingham, it's most of the towns around here. It's just the way that it is. You go up and down the coast, whether it's the east coast or the west coast, and everything's been developed. There isn't much left for people to come, walk around, enjoy, have an ice cream cone, buy some milk, see the cows, and that's really what I'm trying to protect here. This land was uh, purchased by me from a developer six or seven years ago. Uh, we have run this as a commercial dairy operation, the only one in probably 40 miles in any direction. I love the brown cows, and the milk is much better, actually, from the brown cows. Every once in a while when I'm walking around here, I sort of pinch myself when I'm walking up the driveway, or I look at the cows and think, my God, look at this place. And it is my desire to make sure this place is protected forever. That's, you know, we all have at the end of the day, end of our days, if you will, you like to think that people will look back at what you've done and what's the accomplishment? What have you felt good about? I have two beautiful children. I have a great family. I really enjoy the camaraderie of some friends that I've developed over the years at my alma mater. I have a good business and enjoy the work that I do. But this farm is so unusual and it brings out the best in me and it brings out the best in the people that are around here that are working to keep it. You'll meet some of them. You'll hear their stories and you understand why this place is so special to them. Hi, my name is Stephen Pantos, and I work at the farm at Eastley. I've been working here for seven years. Raise the cows, milk the cows, sell milk, and everything else we can in the store. We have milk, we have ice cream, we have uh, local honey, yogurt, candles. People want the raw milk because everything's not boiled out of it like they get in the store. You get all the nutrients. I drink it, I love it. I just gave up ice cream about two weeks ago, so I would start slimming down a little bit. My name's Alicia. I've been living here for about eight years now. Um, I've been on this farm for about the same time. My dad used to be the main herdsman here. My favorite thing here is working with the cows. I'm Donald. I've been working for Doug for I don't know how many years. I'm pretty much a volunteer for Doug. <laughs> Doug has 112 acres on this farm, uh, mostly open. We rotate the pastures for the cows. We have four different breeds of cows uh, being milked 
right now, mostly Jerseys. This farm originally was 468 acres and it was established 186 years ago. My earnest desire when I bought this place from a developer was to keep it from being developed. That's the main goal, the purpose, this last piece of land. Some refer to it as the jewel of Framingham. Come on, boss! Milking time! Let's go, babe! Come on, girls! Milking time! People always love to gather around food, and there's nothing better than these wonderfully wholesome dairy products. So we have the place, we have the product, we have the people, all of these things put together, again, make this a very important place. It has the ability to sustain itself, but the mortgages on it are very steep, and it's become a difficult thing for us to be able to do all of this and keep the place humming as it is. So what we're looking to do is raise the funds that can take the mortgages, put them aside, and we can put a permanent conservation restriction on this land so that it'll be, as you see it today, forever and ever and ever. A way to fix the problem of worrying about development and developers. That's really what we're trying to accomplish here. Get the farm saved, get it safe, and make it as it is now for as far as we can see into the future. Whatever help you can be to making that happen will make this, you'll feel great about it, and make all of us feel terrific about the fact that you've helped. Thank you. To make a donation toward the preservation of historic Eastleigh Farm or to learn more, visit www.eastleyfarm.com. And please visit the farm soon.